Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Let's do the unboxing, build, test and review of my first 5.5 watt laser engraver. When you open the box, this is what you're gonna find inside. And here is a closer look of uh, what this kit contains. We can see the, all the parts what was inside the box. So we have uh, acrylic uh, parts, we have adapter, stepper cables, aluminium rods, we have a USB cable, belts, motherboard and the laser. The big boy. Like I said this is 5500 milliwatt or 5.5 watt laser. This is a very dangerous laser which can blind you in a second permanently. So it's very important that you use safety glasses all the time when you're using this laser. And this is a quick look of motherboard. It's Alex Maker Mana SA. So this small motherboard is controlling the whole laser and all stepper motors through the G-code from the PC. And this is a quick look of box which contain all the screws and small parts to build this project. Quick look of adapter. It's a 12 volt, 5 amp. So it's around 60 watts. And this is a list of all the parts you're gonna get. Again, use your goggles. This is not a toy, it's a very dangerous laser. All right, let's build this thing.
All right, finally done. Looks very nice. Let's connect to the PC and try to do something with it. But before that, try to use something, wood or anything, to protect your table. Alright, let's connect the main 12 volt. And we got some noise. It's running. Well, almost. Let's try the movement and everything. Don't forget to focus the laser. Not bad for the first one. Let's try the first on the wood and see what results we're gonna get. Alright, the first test is done. Hmm. We sure have some lines that is, for some reason, missing. Hmm. Let's try different options. Let's try use the same photo, but only different time, different options. Okay, we're trying this one. Let's try uh, line by line. I run it one more time. Second test with uh, different settings and we still have line missing. What is with this thing? Well this looks better definitely than before. This is a quick look what I see through the safety glasses. Alright guys, after some test and tweaking, this is a result that I get. It looks pretty neat. For comparison, this is my hand. So uh, it's not that small. And this is some more tests that I done with different settings. So settings actually is a crucial into this thing like in a 3D printing. Here's some more. Really awesome. And the last one that I did. Pretty awesome results, really. Only thing is what you need is practice with this one. Neat. And here we see my back case of my phone, which I hopefully I get the right settings. Otherwise, it's gonna just burn through it. There is only one try. I don't have any other case. So I hopefully this will go well. I just write a couple of words to see uh, how well will this laser behave when engraving the letters and some small one alright not bad definitely 
definitely not bad. It's not in the middle, but of course you can make it in the middle. But definitely it's arrived. My back case it's arrived. Alright guys, let's talk a little bit about this laser engraver. The first thing is what I like about this thing is it was way easier to assemble uh, than if we compare a 3D printer for example. The only thing what I used to assemble this whole kit is a couple of photos on the GearBest website. This thing is well built, the quality is great, you have everything necessary to complete the whole kit. So you only need to put maybe one or two hours to make it and use the software what is provided to run it. And of course you can use a different uh, software to use this laser, so it's not only one that you can use, there is a different options, uh, band box and so on and so on that you can use with this laser and uh, get even better results than I get. Of course you need some practice, like I said, this thing is uh, similar to 3D printing, there is a tons of different options, tons of different software that you can use and get way better results than I did. Of course, I'm not a professional one and this is my first laser engraver, so I definitely will use this thing with different software and I'm going to use this thing to cut different materials as well to engrave different things. And before that I go, I want to mention that this laser came with different types of options, so you can choose less powerful one if you don't need 5.5 watt, like I said. I'm gonna put in video description uh, this version and uh, less part one version so you can choose maybe th that one instead obviously if you don't need to cut some thick materials you can use uh, 2.5 watts or 2500 milliwatt to use it just as good like this one and that's it guys thank you so much for checking my video I hope you like it if you like it thumbs up and subscribe I'm gonna try to make more and take care guys again bye bye